Kim Kardashian breaks down because no one wants to wife her. Kim Kardashian is going through a tough time, and it seems her new relationship with Fred is on the rocks. She's no stranger to heartbreak, having faced breakups and public scrutiny in the past due to her rumored romances. The recent troubles have taken a toll on her, leaving her feeling quite down. Since her split with Kanye, she hasn't had much luck in the relationship department, and her messy breakup with Pete only added to her challenges. Despite whispers linking her to high-profile names like Tom Brady, Drake, LeBron, and Usher, these rumors haven't improved Kim's dating image. Instead, they've had the opposite effect, making her situation even more challenging. So, how is Kim planning to break the cycle and improve her dating life? Well, we'll have to keep watching to find out. It's ever gonna end like it never will. And I'm stuck with this for the rest of but wait, there's more. Kim seems to have finally uncovered the reasons behind her dating struggles and why things haven't been working out for her. Who's ever going to want to date me? I have four kids. Like, I'm in my 40s. You know, like, oh my god, who's gonna want to deal with the drama? The latest gossip suggests that Kim was romantically involved with someone the Kardashians have playfully dubbed Fred. However, this supposedly romantic endeavor has stirred up more drama than Kim could have imagined. In a recent episode of The Kardashians, Kim spilled some details about this mystery man she's been seeing. I'm not even gonna ask you who, so let's call this guy Fred. Drop dead Fred. Drop dead Fred. <laughs> All right, so let's go with Freddy. Does he meet the standards? Oh, it's so nice. The Fred situation turned into quite the whirlwind, with drama and embarrassment swirling around Kim. But before we delve into that, let's dive into why Kim has been feeling so overwhelmed by her supposedly tumultuous dating life. Recent events have left Kim feeling quite exposed, especially when rumors emerged about her dating Tom Brady, only for Tom himself to deny them. Things took an interesting turn when, right after those Kim and Tom Brady dating rumors hit the internet, Tom was spotted on a cozy date with Irina Shayk, someone who also happens to be Kanye's former flame. The duo engaged in some serious PDA, with Brady even gently caressing Irina's face. They looked positively radiant, sharing smiles and laughter while nestled in his car. To make matters crystal clear, Tom's representative quashed the Kim dating rumors, stating, Kim and Tom have friends and business partners in common, but they are not dating. Now, let's jump into the juicier part of this tale. Fans' theories suggest that the Kardashians themselves might have had a hand in fueling these rumors. Some speculate that they deliberately spread the news that Kim was house hunting near Brady's location. An intriguing Reddit thread mused, Tom's team swiftly shut this down. It's a bit puzzling why Kris Jenner was trying to spark rumors by revealing their friendly interactions and Kim seeking advice. The whole situation left Kim feeling incredibly mortified. And if that weren't enough, brace yourself for more. Kim supposedly caught the attention of LeBron James during her frequent appearances at Lakers games. On one occasion, she even snapped a photo of LeBron and shared it on Instagram, hinting at a flirtatious vibe. However, the image mysteriously disappeared shortly after, amid rumors that LeBron's wife Savannah had something to do with its removal. Rumor has it that Savannah not only got LeBron to delete the post, but also took a stand against Kim's attempts to flirt with her husband. The Reddit community wasted no time sharing their opinions, and the comments about Kim's interactions with LeBron were nothing short of cringeworthy. Some fans didn't hesitate to criticize her for seemingly disregarding LeBron's happy marriage to Savannah. One comment didn't mince words, stating, It's embarrassing how she's acting so thirsty. He clearly doesn't play that game. Shifting gears, a common thread through all these rumors is Kim's lack of denial. She hasn't shot down any of the speculation. When the buzz about Kim and LeBron quieted down, the rumor mill churned out whispers about her being linked to Lonnie Walker. According to a report by the US Sun, there were claims that Kim Kardashian was involved with Lonnie Walker on the down low. However, these rumors were short-lived, as it turned out that Lonnie Walker is soon tying the knot with Emily Walker. Now, turning to a report by Raider Online from a few months ago, it seemed Kim's flirty interactions extended to Usher as well creating quite a buzz and unsettling some. It's worth mentioning that Kim attended a couple of Usher's shows during his Las Vegas residency. Rather interestingly, Kim didn't deny these allegations either. During this time, Usher was dating someone named Jen, and their onstage PDA left no room for ambiguity for fans. <laughs> Without you, without you. 
Once again, it was an awkward scenario for Kim, and fans didn't hold back their reactions. One fan's take was, Kim's definitely playing the viral game here. Another chimed in, honestly, what other talent does she have besides seeking attention? Now, brace yourself for the most intriguing twist yet, and it's probably more controversial than any of the previous connections. As everyone knows, Drake and Kanye have had their clashes, so it was a shocker to even consider that Drake and Kim might be a thing post-Kanye. But hold on, there's more to the tale. Rumor has it that Kim had her sights on Drake, but apparently Drake isn't reciprocating the interest. Oh, there's definitely quite a bit of history and even some humiliation in the mix. And it seems that despite any past setbacks, Kim's interest in Drake remains persistent. Back in 2018, there were whispers of Kim possibly cheating on Kanye. Interestingly, Kim has now come forward to reveal that these rumors were allegedly initiated by Kanye himself. He was the one that started a rumor that said I was having, hooking up with Drake, having an affair, a whole marriage, she accused me of that publicly. So the person that's supposed to protect me the most publicly would accuse me of having an affair about our whole marriage. But the story doesn't end there. One of Kim's recent videos has ignited conversations about her potential interest in Drake. While Kim might be giving Drake some attention, it appears Drake is taking the opposite route, completely brushing her off fans didn't hold back their opinions, labeling Kim as desperate. One fan pointedly remarked, This is the epitome of desperation. It's kind of petty. If my husband accused me of something and I kept denying it, only to then attend the same person's show that he accused me of something with, it's just wild. But Drake didn't budge. It's pretty sad, honestly. Kim, this is getting old. Others echoed the sentiment, deeming the situation rather cringeworthy. But let's not forget, Kim's emotional state isn't solely shaped by public humiliation. There's more to it. For quite a few months, Kim allegedly feels she might have made a mistake leaving Kanye. On The Kardashians, Kim has openly displayed her emotions regarding her divorce, making it abundantly clear that she regrets the separation. I always will. You'll always, like, hope that you'll see a glimpse of them. It appears that Kim might have even attempted to rekindle things with Kanye. Anything to get that person back. You know what I feel is so bad for him. Yet, it seems those efforts didn't pan out. As co-parents to their children, Kim and Kanye still cross paths frequently. A recent instance was when they were spotted together at a Saints soccer game. However, Kanye maintained his distance from Kim, choosing to stay towards the back of the crowd. Meanwhile, Kim enjoyed the front row seats, possibly hoping that Kanye would join her. Throughout the match, Kanye showed no inclination to interact with Kim or even get closer to the front row. At the Sun Saints soccer game in Tarzana, Kanye positioned himself in the background, clearly apart from Kim, who remained seated at the front. According to an insider source, Kanye exhibited no interest in Kim during the game. Despite Kim's attempts to catch his attention by sending their kids over to him and even reaching out herself, Kanye remained unresponsive. He seemingly ignored her presence entirely, not even acknowledging that she was there. As the game concluded, it was clear that Kim was feeling a mix of anger and disappointment. This glimpse into her attempts to connect with Kanye hints at the wider scope of her efforts, but it seems nothing bore fruit. Meanwhile, Kanye has continued on his path, now with Bianca. However, there's more to the story. Kim apparently places some blame on Kanye for her split from Pete. During her time with Pete, tensions brewed between Kim and Kanye, leading to some very public clashes that left Pete humiliated. Me from that crash, just so I could beat Pete Davidson's in an Instagram post that was eventually deleted, Kanye shared a cropped image of Davidson and added a caption that read, Look at this. I wonder if Instagram gonna shut down my page for dissing Hillary Clinton's ex-boyfriend. Things took a harsher turn in February 2022 when Kanye posted this message on his Instagram. Hold your spouse close. Make sure they know how much you love and appreciate them because there's a skeet, a nickname he used for Pete, lurking in every dirty Sally waiting to help destroy your family and walk around in Calvin Klein's around your children. His words continued as he added, I wish my wife was with me and our children sitting at the 50-yard line. Kim Kardashian, always remember, West was your biggest W. As if the drama wasn't intense enough, both Pete and Kanye dropped more bombshells. For example, Pete posted about fans asking him to scream at the loser at the top of your lungs and say Kimmy forever, if they saw Skeet in person. The situation escalated to the point where Kim felt compelled to step in. Her response was clear. You are creating a dangerous and scary environment, and someone will hurt Pete, and this will be all your fault. 
Insider sources suggest that the collected drama involving Kim, Pete, and Kanye painted a certain image of Kim and her relationships, one that's characterized by non-stop drama. But it's not a one-sided blame game. Kim allegedly hasn't been able to move past the fact that all her exes, Kanye, Pete, and others, have moved on to successful relationships, leaving her feeling isolated. And once again, there's more to the story. Kim seemingly had a potential romantic prospect in her life, someone she could have dated and potentially moved forward with. However, it appears that this too came to an end. My spot, because there's a private room downstairs. Yeah, I like, know the spot. Doesn't matter. In one of the recent episodes of The Kardashians, Kim opened up about the difficulties she faced in meeting up with Fred. The constant presence of paparazzi made it challenging to have any privacy. But that's not all she revealed. In a surprising turn of events, Kim shared that after meeting Fred in her secret spot in New York, the very next day, headlines splashed across news outlets claiming that Kim was reigniting a romance with Pete. The question is, why? Was he there? No, but it was the place that I would go and have like my secret dinners with Pete. <laughs> He's probably like, oh, oh, I know what time it is. I know what she does. I know what she According to an insider source closely connected to the Kardashians, Fred reportedly decided to take a break from his involvement with Kim. Allegedly, he's re-evaluating his options because he supposedly took issue with Kim's choice to take him to a private location that she used to frequent with Pete, all while broadcasting it on the show. This purportedly left Fred to call it quits with Kim. This revelation shines a light on the real reason behind Kim's recent struggles. She's facing the realization that her relationship with Fred, much like others, hasn't lasted. So, here's the question. What are your thoughts on Kim's emotional turmoil? Do you think she played a role in creating it? Or do you believe Kanye's actions played a significant part in disrupting her dating life?